Hi, I'm Mel from Toasty Paints, and today we are going to show you how to create this design, Adobe Illustrator. We got quite a few comments on TikTok for us to show you this tutorial, creating this letter O. So let's go. Okay, first up, we just type the letter O. We have all this color palette that we want to use on top of the artboard as usual. So let's go with a very basic font, Gotham Bow. And we path the font, change the color, go to the effect, 3D and material. Let's use the 3D classic, the old classic 2, extrude and bevel option. Okay, for here we just changed orientation of the 3D. Depends on what um, side we want this O to be facing. And then we change the depth to a thicker depth, maybe somewhere around 200, 220. Make sure the cap is on and OK. This is the 3D O that we get from the two. Centralize it. Then we go to object, expand the appearance, and then using the a, so we just select, click into the O, select the sides, and path them together. Pathfinder, make sure they are together into one shape so that we can create a gradient mesh. So, as to say, there's too many points to create a gradient mesh, we will search for the two to simplify the points before we can create a gradient mesh. So, for to find the simplified two, we go to object. Go to path and simplify. So you reduce the number of points to the list. And now we can create gradient mesh. So key in the rows and columns depending on how many colors you want to input. We're changing to uh, maybe let's, let's stick to flat. And then we select the points. Same thing as how we always do gradient mesh. On the background, on any design, same thing, we use the entire selection tool to select the points and use eyedropper tool to select the colors. This is how we change colors for the sides. And you can drag the points as well if you don't like where it's at. Just select and change the color, which will need the side edges to similar color from the front so that it looks like a faded um, color like a faded gradient from the front of the design to the sides as well adjust to cover the white edges you will see some white edges because just now accidentally shifted the points for that and also change the color so that it doesn't look very abrupt same thing for the inside, we just select all of them and pathfinder it to make it into one shape. And we go to the object, creating gradient mesh, too many points, it's okay, we go to simplify the points, reduce all the points, and then change, create gradient mesh, object, create gradient mesh, and input the colors as well, like what we did just now. You can change up the colors to any colors that you like. This is more of the very pastel basic tone colors that we have here. So it depends on what design or color your palette are looking for. So you can shift the points as well. You can see it looks like a little petal pop object. Nice. Change the edge as well. Shift it anywhere you want it to. Changing the edge to the front color as well to show the faded gradient color. Alright, this is how it looks like. You change the color you want, now you just stick to blue. Maybe you just stick to blue. Okay, so here's the design. I think there's not enough gradient mesh. You can actually add gradient mesh. Add some points to the gradient mesh. Add a little bit more pink. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Let me know what you think. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Do follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and also visit our website and drop us an email or DM if you have any questions or if you need any help with criticisms.
Yeah, so if you see they like one of our TikTok videos and you want to see a tutorial on it, you can comment in the comment section and maybe we'll just do it for the next video. And also if you want to learn how to better design skills, how to do more designs or different variation of designs, do like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Till next time, bye!